What's going on everybody? Happy Monday once again. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tyler. You also know me as the Geode Cracker and Collector. Today, the much anticipated Plume Agate group is going to be getting worked on. So, super excited for this. We've got this one here. I'm not sure of its origins. Um, I got it with a bunch of different slabs, but these ones here are from my good friend, Chris. You guys also know him as Rufo Tris Rooted Rockhound. So big shout outs to him. If you guys are not familiar with him, I'm gonna have some links down to his socials down below. Be sure to go and check him out and show him some love. He's super active over on TikTok. He's got some content here on YouTube as well. So you will not be disappointed if you go and search his stuff out. But now that that is all said, we are gonna get started working on these on my eight inch flat lab here. This is the all you need model made by the company, High Tech Diamond. They are based here in the Chicagoland area. They've got a whole bunch of awesome, awesome machines that they manufacture. So they've got flat laps, they've got trim saws, slab saws, all kinds of stuff. I will also have some links down in the description below if you want to go and check them out. Be sure to use the promo code GCC at checkout. That gives you 10% off of your order. It does not include the purchases of machines, unfortunately, but 10% helps. We're going to get started off. We are going to be starting on the 80 grit disc. Then we're going to work to the 180. Then we'll get over to the 325. And that's when we're going to check back in once these things are ready to just finish up getting polished. And then we're going to zip through the final stages. So today's video shouldn't be super duper long. Um, I'm not going to be able to get any sunlight photos because we're dealing with some snow right now. Um, but there will be a slideshow at the end with some photos just here in the studio. So stay tuned, kick your feet up, relax and enjoy. So here we are, we are all finished up with the first three stages. The first two that you saw were the metal discs um, or the lapidary discs, you can call them. So those are 80 grit and 180 grit. This here is the first of the smoothing pads. We do have three more that we're gonna work through today. This one here is 325 grit. Now this one is the most important for getting any imperfections out as far as your basic overall shape of the piece that you're working on. So this one here, you can see we've got it nice and rounded. Also, you wanna make sure in this stage, you're going through and you're getting out any little scratches that you can see, because if you don't work them out on this stage, you're not gonna be able to get them out on the next stages. So there's that little guy there. That one is another one of the two from a Rufo Tris. So this is the next one that I'm not sure the location that this one comes from, but this one is really pretty. It's got a lot of clarity. I know it's a little hard to see 
because of that dap stick back there, but this one's gonna be really beautiful. And then last but not least, my personal favorite, and my personal favorite shape <laughs> in general to make is this hexagon here of some beautiful, beautiful plume agate from my man Rufo Tris. So be sure to show him some love in the comment section down below. Big shout out to him watching right now in the chat. But there we are. These three are ready to go on and get worked through the next stages. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna zip through those really quick. So next time I chat with you guys, we are gonna be all finished up with these things and checking them out for the big reveal. So stay tuned, here we go. So here we are, we are all finished up with the stages that we we're gonna work through on it, on these pieces today. I did pick up a couple buffing wheels and some polishing paste. Um, I'm not gonna get into all of that today. Paisley is home and not feeling too well. So we're just gonna wrap it up right here. But we are gonna check these things out because they came out really, really beautifully. So here we have some of the material out from Idaho, some graveyard point plume agate. Very, very beautiful. You can see the reflections. Look at like a goofy face. Because I got two two ring lights for my lighting here. My favorite, we've got the hexagon, which that shape looks pretty good, except for this little bottom corner down there. It's a little funky. Another piece that came out really, really, really nice. So again, a big shout outs to my man, Chris. Thank you so much. And uh, a little spoiler, he sent me some of this material to cut up and the weather is breaking very soon and I just picked up a new saw blade. So we're gonna see some of that material like this get cut up very very soon and then this is the last one another beautiful plume agate not 100 percent sure where this one is from so if you know let me know down in the comment section below i'd appreciate it and i'm sure we would all like to know so there we are all nice and pretty nice and shiny and like i said we'll go through maybe we'll live stream one night this week um and we'll just go through and we'll polish a whole bunch of cabs that I've worked up to the 3000 grit and we'll get them all taken care of because I've got, not only did I get the 14,000 mesh diamond paste, I also got the 50,000 mesh diamond paste. Both of these things are available through High Tech Diamonds, so like I said in the beginning, there's gonna be a link down in the description below and you can pick up. They go all the way up to, I believe they go all the way up to 100,000 mesh 
for the diamond paste. So I'm excited to get to use those. I only used it a handful of times in the very beginning when I first bought my machine and um, then my wheel got contaminated and I just would polish them up to this because this looks pretty good to me, but we're gonna get a really, really nice mirror finish on everything very, very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below which of these three was your favorite. Like I said, this one here is mine. And actually this one takes a close second because this one is really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below. This weekend is the gem show that I've been chatting about for a few weeks now. I'm super excited. So um, either tomorrow night or Wednesday night, I'm gonna do a live sale, kind of a pre-sale here on the channel. So keep an eye on the community tab on my channel because I will be posting updates on there to let you know the final decided time and date for that pre-sale because I know some of you guys wanted to get your hands on some of these things before I get over to the show. So you guys will have a chance. Like I said, I will update you guys very soon. And then Thursday, we are finishing up the final group from the groups, the six that we started off with when we dopped up a whole bunch of pieces a few weeks back. I'm gonna have a link to that video right up there. So this weekend, sorry. So this Thursday, not this weekend, <laughs> this Thursday is gonna be when we polish the Unikite group. So it's got a couple different things in there. Some shirts, some Unikite, and some mystery stones. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you're new to the channel, this is the first of my videos that you've seen. I appreciate you sticking around and watching till the end. Be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment, let me know your favorite, let me know you're new. I'd love to welcome you. So smash that subscribe button, click that bell notification and set it to all so you stay notified whenever I upload. I've got videos coming out at least twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. But until then guys, stick around because I got some photos for you.